I am in the basement of 213 Elm Street where I just found the coolest thing. It's an ash pit and in the ash pit are historical artifacts from this home over the decades of other people living in it. I want to show you. Come on in. Let's take a look. Check this out. The first owner of 213 Elm Street in 1907 was a saloon keeper named Andy. And this is an old token. It says five cents good for one drink. Isn't that awesome? I spent all day serving booze to dock workers and lumbermen and boardwalk construction people. But I saved the good stuff. And then some of the other occupants that lived in 213 Elm Street used this home as their vacation home. And so there's these old look Ghirardelli chocolate from like the original Ghirardellis in San Francisco, some candy wrappers, and then this old cigarette box. They were probably eating chocolate and smoking down at the beach at the boardwalk. And then check these out. They're little pieces of copper. One of the occupants was a jeweler and a watchmaker, and it looks like he was practicing his handwriting so that he could engrave pieces of jewelry and watches. Mildred, I'm home. Come in the kitchen, dear. I've been cooking supper. Champagne for you. Oh, thank goodness. I've got to stir this just a minute. Welcome to 213 Elm Street in downtown Santa Cruz. This home is ready for the next piece of history. Welcome to 213 Elm Street. This two bed, one bath, 847 square foot home is a colonial revival built in 1907. It is a quintessential Santa Cruz home right in downtown Santa Cruz. The owners have lovingly restored this home from the inside out, ready for the next buyer to put their own final finishing touches. With solar panels, a newer roof, and ample storage in the basement and in the attic. This home is the perfect Santa Cruz home to make all of your dreams come true. Come check out 213 Elm Street right in downtown Santa Cruz. This is an article about a raid on this business. Somebody saw that article and was like, we gotta burn this. And we have Thelma Leroy in our bathtub. Yep. Leroy, Leroy. Here's the kids 
homework and writing out music. There's somewhere in here where they were playing Hangman. I missed it. Oh, here we go. Robert and Myrtle. Okay, which one was mine? <laughs> Bob and Mert. And this is their scores, I think. I think I think Bob is uh, practicing his lettering. So we were just talking about the kids. Here's a kid's drawing. And then here's a page from the Valley of Lost Things. This is a Frank Baum uh, book.